Hey, what's up guys? It's Two Bricks here and I just wanted to give you a quick little update on my Serenity build. Uh, the first video that I showed you guys, I uh, gave you kind of an idea of what the scale is going to be just in terms of uh, laying out some numbers and stuff, but I wanted to give you guys uh, more of a visual representation of how the, uh, the ship is going to be. And so what I did was I quickly used the, um, the stage that I had created before for the, uh, for the bridge slash cockpit and I just expanded on that a little bit and so I've just worked on creating this area of the ship because I wanted you guys to have more of an idea of how the final kind of scale is going to be for this bad boy. So keeping that in mind and kind of extrapolating from there, I have done this. Now everything you're seeing here is fully uh, temporary, in progress, all that stuff, um, things are subject to change, of course, that's just how it goes when you're assembling a model like this. and you don't really have exactly a concrete plan. This is one of those things where I've done measurements for the different sections of the ship, and now uh, I have a kind of a rough roadmap, and I'm just gonna flesh everything out kind of as I go with just a few um, key kind of measurements as a guide for that. So I know kind of the length that I want, the I need the face to be, I know the overall width, I know the width of the window, the length of the window, et cetera, et cetera. So that just lets me kind of have a roadmap in my mind as I'm building but I'm still pretty much building straight ahead as I normally do um, without too much forward thinking in terms of that. So Serenity's face is a very important kind of feature of the ship. It's uh, one of the most recognizable parts and I think if you don't get that right then um, the ship isn't really going to come together the way that you want it to. So that is what I decided to focus on first and since I have this kind of rough mock-up of the whole thing um, looking pretty complete-ish so far. I just wanted to give you guys a little look at it so you could really picture in your mind how large the ship is going to wind up being. So um, I have this where the front face here can come off and um, that's going to be how I kind of do everything on this uh, on this build. Everything's going to be kind of modular and removable and so each of the sections you'll be able to get really good access to see all of the little juicy interior details. Let me just Reframe this up a little bit and uh, give you guys a look at um, kind of what I had done from before where I expanded on that stage that I had showed you where I just laid out some seating area and the kind of control consoles. Um, I have a couple of spots here for Wash's dinosaurs, obviously, <laughs> gotta have those. And I just wanted to give him a little control stick in here too because it felt weird for him to not have anything to hold on to uh, immediately in front of him. But yeah, then I just expanded that out with the the side walls here, the uh, the detailing at the front here, the little antennae off to the side, and the dish in the front here, and of course the solar panels. And um, this is, you know, obviously like I said, not final, but it is an indication of the kind of scale that you're going to be seeing from this whole project. And um, even though it's fairly quickly put together, I just thought it was worth showing you guys. Um, so yeah, as I continue to go through, I'm going to give you guys updates, hopefully more substantive ones as we continue. Um, but the other thing I wanted to announce is that I have the instructions ready to go for my Mini Scale Serenity and for the uh, this guy, the Flying Mule. Uh, and those are going to be posted in the description below and I'm going to actually include them in the um, previous video's description as well just in case anybody happens to be watching that one first, you can get the instructions right there as well. Um, it'll be in a downloadable link where you're going to get the PDF, uh, the PDF instructions and the digital model so that you can order the parts if you want to make one of those yourself. Um, the reason I'm giving those out to you guys for free is because I really want to inspire the kind of love and passion for this project that I have and for you guys to be able to have your own version of the the models that I'm creating along the way, it just, uh, yeah, it's just something that's, I, I don't know, something that's cool to me and hopefully, you know, you guys are going to get inspired as well. Um, so the only thing that I do ask is if you are enjoying the video series so far and you're excited to see the progress on Serenity to just share it with your friends and help the channel grow. We're really doing uh, super well with subscribers right now. Um, we're well over 500 and that's super duper awesome. <laughs> I can't thank you guys enough. And the next goal I'm obviously trying to hit is a thousand. It'd be really cool to get to that number. Um, it would be a, a real validation of the work that I'm putting into the channel. And uh, yeah, if you guys have uh, any thoughts on what you're seeing so far, I would love to hear it, especially from dedicated brown coats out there who 
maybe you're seeing this and going, whoa, 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 that's not right. Something's off here, you know, because like I say, this is something that I've been kind of putting together fairly quickly because I just want to get an idea in more for my own self of what the scale is going to be um, more than to actually consider anything to be finished. But, you know, I'm fairly happy with how it looks, so it may not end up changing too much. We'll see. All right, you guys, so that's it for today. It was just a quick one, and um, if you guys enjoy the video, you guys know what to do. The go do the old thumbs up business, uh, share with your friends, subscribe for more videos if you're new to the channel, and if you are new, hi, welcome. Um, yeah, and then all that stuff, you guys know, helps the channel to grow and helps me get to my next milestone, and uh, I can start running ads on my videos and actually generating revenue, which will help me to purchase the parts and the things that I need to continue making uh, creations for you guys. So it all helps. All right, you guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next one, and until then, stay shiny. Mm -hmm.